He who is committed to the life of the poor must share the same fate as the poor. To disappear, to be tortured, and to be found dead by the side of the road. Archbishop Oscar Romero. Dorothy Kazel was born on June 30, 1939. She joined the Cleveland Teaching Order of Ursuline Sisters in 1960. Before she entered religious life, she was a young woman that was engaged to be married. She was called to the life of a religious, and she postponed her marriage in order to test her calling. Sister Dorothy spent seven years teaching in the Cleveland area and was a counselor at Beaumont School for Girls, which is where I went to high school. She later became involved in ecumenical and interracial community programs in Cleveland. Her devotion to her faith and the joy she always felt and exuded is best represented by a statement remembered by another sister at a 1968 community retreat. She wanted to be remembered as an Alleluia from head to foot. She remained with the Ursulines until her death on December 2, 1980. Hi everybody, I'd like to welcome you to this Remembrance Celebration Ceremony of the Life and Works of Sister Dorothy Kazel. Sister Dorothy devoted her life all the way to her last breath to serving, caring for, teaching, and bringing light to the world. Her selfless devotion to those she served remains an inspiration to this day. Sister Dorothy's call to serve extended far beyond the comforts and safety of her parish and community of Ursuline Sisters. Her immense faith in living each day with joy and gratitude was infectious to those she knew as well as those who only heard of her works and her story. Sister Dorothy's legacy of love and exemplary spirit lives on through the award the Ursuline community bestows on a person deemed to reflect the courage, faith, and love, the Alleluia Award. In 1974, Dorothy joined the Diocese of Cleveland's mission team in El Salvador. The team consisted of nine members working in three parishes. Their main tasks involved visiting the homes of parishioners and preparing people for the sacraments. Her brother James said of Dorothy's decision to go to El Salvador that she wanted to work with the people who didn't have the advantages of the people of the United States. She wanted to spread the gospel to people who needed help. The landscape of El Salvador took a major turn by the late 1970s. There was so much violence and repression against the people that the character of the mission's teamwork changed. As Mary Knoll priest Stephen T. DeMott explained, Dorothy spent more and more time transporting homeless people, especially women and children, to the refugee centers. She wrote home about the corpses that daily were being found along the roadsides and described the mutilations as sick and demonic. The purpose of the mission began as preaching to the poor, training catechists, helping form basic Christian communities, carrying out the sacramental preparation programs, and distributing Catholic relief aid and food to the hungry. After the eruption and onslaught of violence against the El Salvadorians, the mission became more about finding shelters for the thousands of homeless, taking the sick and wounded to medical clinics, so on and so forth. Without regard for her own basic needs, Sister Dorothy professed that in the process of these duties, they fell in love with the beauty and warmth of the Salvadoran people. I remember sitting in world history class when our principal, Sister Martha, came on the loudspeaker and made the announcement that on the night of December 2nd, Sister Dorothy, Jean Donovan, Sister Ida Ford, and Sister Maura Clark were abducted, raped, tortured, and murdered by the members of the National Guard of El Salvador. We sat silently, dumbfounded at the news that we were just told. It was impossible to wrap our minds around something so brutal and so, so unimaginable could happen to our sister Dorothy. Sister Dorothy's death was a horrific injustice. Not to celebrate her life and legacy would have been just as much of an injustice. Her spirit lives on through the Alleluia Award, encouraging individuals reflections of courage, faith, and love that Sister Dorothy taught us through the life she lived. The words of Archbishop Romero sadly rang true for Sister Dorothy. He who is committed to the poor must share the same fate as the poor, to disappear, to be tortured, and to be found dead by the side of the road.